Time for Look at Me Now, the Joy Fit Club, and the induction of the newest member, a 47-year-old mother of seven from mm -hmm. Seattle, Washington. Her name is Rose Cowan, and she's lost 150 pounds. But before we meet her, here's Rose's story. My name is Rose Cowan, and for 20 years, I lived the life of an obese, invisible woman. My weight spiraled out of control after I married and started having my children. At my heaviest, I weighed 310 pounds and I wore a size men's 4X t-shirt. But no matter how heavy I got, I just couldn't lose the weight. In January 2006, my doctor sent me to the hospital. I was in danger of having a massive stroke. For the first time, I realized that my fat was not just a layer that I wore like a big oversized jacket, but it had become invasive and it was actually killing me slowly. The day I got home from the hospital, I put on a pair of my son's old running shoes and I started walking. I researched how people had achieved massive weight loss and most importantly, how did they keep it off? I had my moment of clarity and decided I love my children more than food. With this mantra, I was able to lose 150 pounds. Today, I am the mother of my seven children that I always wanted to be, both inside and out. All right, wow. before we ask Rose to come out, we have our wonderful nutritionist, Joy Bauer, here to tell us about her eating wow. habits. Hey! Hi, sweetie. I love how she said, I love my kids more, more than, than I love average. food. And she said that throughout her entire weight loss journey. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I'm going to show you is something that so many people who struggle with their weight can relate to. Mm -hmm. In her heavier days, right. She ate nothing during the day. All she did was drink diet soda, nothing. So she's wondering why the weight's not coming right. on. Right. That's what she's After doing. After the kids went to bed, oh. she yeah. would eat nachos. She would eat ice cream, chips, cookies, refried beans. So she was consuming about 2,400 calories just after went everybody sitting. went to bed, yeah. right? Yeah. So now okay. she eats throughout the entire day. She She's um, addicted to these protein shakes that she mm -hmm. puts together. So she'll have a protein shake with a peach for breakfast. For lunch, a protein shake with a big plate of vegetables which, with some light dressing. Mm -hmm. She snacks on cottage cheese and beans and peas. And, you know, really, the idea here is she's fueling throughout the whole entire mm -hmm. day. She went from 24. 400 calories to 1,600 calories. That's a that and you, up, boy. And you also think if you're drinking Diet Coke all day, you can afford to pig out at night. You think oh, that. Oh, it's a whole mentality yeah. game, yeah. But it's also full of chemicals. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, let's see. Okay, we got to see Rose, because this is Rose before. She is whipple She is? With Come muscles. on, Rose. Let's see the new you. Come on, Rose. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. Hello. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Are you serious? Unbelievable. And your hair is different, too. <laughs> <laughs> the whole deal's different. How long wow. did it take you, Rose, to drop all that weight? Um, well, it took me about 12 months to lose 100 pounds, my first 100 pounds. That's and then I um, continued working, and you know, it was a lot slower. But the second year, I lost another 50. Uh -huh. How did you stay focused? Because that's one of those things you could easily fall off the wagon and you know, start on this stuff again. Well, when it, when it hit me, I really had that moment of clarity that some people kind of talk about as their aha moment or oh, whatever. Yeah. But for me, it really was like a light switch. And I just really made conscious the idea that I love my children more than food. And so I wrote it on a micro race board, I put it on my refrigerator, and I walked with that thought as a mantra. Wow. So I would, you know, kind of say that to myself every day, all day long, that no food tastes as good as healthy feels. And yeah. just kept my kids, you know, and, and just every moment I could breathe more and do more, I felt so much better That's that it was just... And what do they say to you now? Um, it's really funny because I show my kids the pictures, like, you know, my heavy pictures, and my children are like, Mom, you weren't that big. Aww. I love you. I'm always like, do you think I photoshopped that? <laughs> they get you toned up, too, because that's the, the trouble when you have a lot of weight to lose. It's hard to get toned yeah, as well, right? Yeah, I definitely. Um, and I started out only being able to walk, you know, like two blocks mm -hmm. because I had a bad back and stuff, and I just continue to say, you know, I'm going to fight through this thing, I'm going to win, wow. and um, so increase that slowly to where I started walking and running, and then I started switching it up with weights on alternating days yeah. and things. So that She's a rock. Rose, she's, you're she's rock. She's a rock. Rose, thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. So great news. Good for so you. Great. And if you know someone who should be a member of the Joy Fit Club, go to our website, klgandhoda.com, and let us know. All right, we'll be back with much more of today on NBC. Hello. Hey, come check this out. Tennis player. Swiss tennis player. Lindor truffles. When its smooth center starts to melt,
Mm. So will you. Um, we're gonna have to confiscate these. Why is that? It's a new policy. No chocolate balls. Okay. I think we should do a strip search too. Excuse me? It's protocol. Are you kidding me? There's one thing I'll eat any time of day. From dawn till sunset, I'll never walk away. Blueberry pancakes. This quick, so pancake good. lovers unite. Hey, dinner. Of all the things that happen on your wooden surfaces, disinfecting has to be one of them. Clorox disinfecting wipes. Safe on wood, hard on germs. From the goodness of almonds comes pure almond from Silk. Smooth, all-natural almond milk that powers you up with antioxidants for just 60 calories. Pure almond from Silk. Strength in every pore. Your objective, a fall slash glam look. No false lashes needed. Get new Falsies Mascara by Volume Express. Only from Maybelline New York. It's False Lash Glam in a tube. Our first. Our multi-patented spoon brush loads every lash with Cara Fiber Formula for 300% more visible lashes. Corner to corner. No gaps from any angle. New Falsies Mascara. Instant glam in a tube every day. Maybe she's born with it. Welcome to the blog that answers the big questions about Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Like, am I going to bliss out over this? Spoiler alert. Yes, I will. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm okay. This week, sharing valuable lessons, passing on personal gifts, bringing healing and hope, all different ways of making a difference. NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams this week and anytime on your DVR. Dateline Monday, millions of dollars stolen. Our hidden cameras catch lottery crooks in action. Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. It's your money. Don't let someone else cash in. An all new Dateline, tonight, 10, 9 central on NBC. We may have a problem. He's going to tell them about the event. We have to evacuate, what's going on? Where's my girlfriend? girlfriend? Information has always been need to know. I am president of the United States. I need to know. In our history, there have been few events that have shaped mankind. The next event is upon us. event Mondays this fall on NBC Paris in the springtime it's so beautiful Rome in the fall you look incredible you look pretty hot yourself not bad <laughs> <laughs> for government work so this is our European vacation right do you feel like breaking into a bank with me Undercovers, a new series, Wednesdays 8, 7 central on NBC. We're back with today's Call of the Wild in SeaWorld and Bush Gardens. Animal Ambassador Julie Scardina. Yeah, she's Hoda's here. So with, happy. She's here with some of the animals they've rescued. Hey, Julie. Hi. Hi Julie. How are you? And they all do have a story. It's not just yes. people. Hoda, it's animals yes, too. Yes, I've heard that before. We've rescued eighteen thousand animals since we started rescuing animals. And please, let's rescue that one for make yeah, sure it doesn't fall yeah. off the uh, end not of the a table snapper. there. This but one was hit one, by a car. Yes, those are gopher tortoises, which are uh, actually a threatened species down in the south south uh, eastern mm -hmm. United. States anyway really important species 250 other species live at or around the burrows that these guys dig mm -hmm. and so you know even though these numbers are going down we're doing everything that we can to try to protect them and even after you know these guys were hit, this one was hit by a car this one had to be moved because of a development which mm -hmm. is happening so often mm -hmm. but uh, 
These, this one and this one will probably, hopefully, be able to be reintroduced back into the wild, uh -huh. find a good place, redig their burrows. Aww. Trouble is, they like living in the same spots as humans like building because it's dry, sandy soil. Right. And, um, Let's do everything you know, around we're, here. We're still, we're still <laughs> in Would competition. Do something? So. <laughs> okay. What, else, what do you have there? This that is guy. Olive the Caracara. Now, she fell out of her nest just as a little nestling. And so many people don't realize that most birds don't have any sense of smell. What is We're going to get to the pelican in a minute. <laughs> in, incoming. And this yep. is a really unique type of bird. They're very, very smart. Like, does this remind you of a dog, you know, the way basically that she just went down there and, and tried to walk herself with that leash? They spend a lot of time on the ground. She will actually go in there and dig through sand in order worms. to find yeah, some worms. worms. Yeah, worms. worms. But she was Boy. rescued. Um, and uh, a lot of people don't realize you can put baby birds, if they're not injured, back in their nest as long as the Ooh. nest is reachable. Uh -huh. And the mama bird will come back and take them. You know, the what person. Was I always heard yeah, that the mother clear. bird wouldn't if it was ever touched by yeah. human hands. No, because you know what? They don't know. They have really no sense of smell. Very, look at that. Look at how she's <laughs> digging in that soil right now Pelican to find her food. Isn't that cool? <laughs> uh -huh. But uh, she was taken in by the Audubon Center for oh, Birds look, of Prey. Look, look she God. knew it was there. <laughs> oh, that's. Wow. Wow. Those little guys don't have a. And she is very, very attached to people so unfortunately she won't, she won't be able be to able be <laughs> whoa